What's up, Sozy fans? Or should I say brick fans? Because today I'm discussing the last three months of my brick progress. So if you're new to my channel, I usually do a brick video every three months and I usually do it, do it close to the change of seasons. For example, right now we are fall going into winter. So that's my reminder, it's time to do a brick video. Let's get into it. There are 33 bricks we're gonna talk about. Um, 12 are the ones that I'm gonna work on in the next three months. We'll talk about that very briefly at the end of the video. But let's dive into the ones I worked on. And just keep in mind, I have more bricks in my brick closet, so I have a lot of bricks. A brick is about 5.75 times the size of a regular Scentsy bar, if you're unaware. Scentsy usually offers bricks as a seasonal brick promotion and sometimes through Scentsy Club. So let's talk about the bricks I finished first. I actually finished four, and one was with an asterisk. The first one I finished was Olaf. Finish, finished. So Olaf is a really soft, pretty scent. It's got vanilla and a woodsiness with a mintiness. So really, really nice. And this is available in bar form right now. It's a light performer. The second one is one that was gifted to me. It had about a quarter to a third of the brick left. I did not take a picture. I think it had, did it have four cubes left, I believe? Anyway, it's raspberry Danish. So this is old packaging. You can see it's like a slide in sleeve. All the, the cubes are more rectangular in shape and they're uniform, which I kind of like because I'm a creature of habit. But uh, this is a very buttery baked good. There's a lot of butter notes and there's the raspberry is not the, the most prominent to me. It's the buttery baked good. The raspberry is along for the ride. And I'll put the scent notes below and that would be one that would be nice to vote back and Sharon gifted that to me. So thank you to Sharon. All right, the next two are from Bricks, I believe, from 2018. The first one is Cranberry and Tinsel. So I finished up all of the Cranberry and Tinsel. And this one is a deep, dark malt cranberry and there's cedar wood. It's, it's, I think, that fur or Siberian fur. Very strong, heavy, solid performer. Very strong in the open layout. So that is Cranberry and Tinsel. And the last brick I finished up, <laughs> You can see the, the red tinge. This is a current scent, but not current in brick form, but you can buy this in bar form. It's Christmas Cottage. So this has got raspberries, Valencia orange, and it's got cloves and spices, but it's pretty much cinnamon heavy, like that red hot cinnamon holiday spice with some fruits and the citrus. So it's really nice. I really, really liked this one and it really performed well for me this year. All right, so let's talk about some fall ones I worked on. I worked on Apple s'mores. So this is what I have left. So not too bad. Um, this is a, a brick I think from 2015. I got it on a flash sale and it's got lots of notes. I talk about this all the time. I'll put the notes below. It's, it's a scent that's not really named properly. I think they did a just did a play on a name. But there's cedar wood and there's like a marshmallow and there's a coconut milk and there's an apple and there's a cinnamon. La la la. Lots of stuff. This is really strong and it kind of goes in layers. So it starts out one way and it kind of goes a little more bakery to me, a little bit woodsy as well. So I like this one. All right, the next one I worked on was Welcome Home. So this one, I only did the top row. This was full before. This is not a good performer for me. I, I just gotta say, it, it's not a good performer in my home. Sometimes I, I wish I could get it stronger and to get it stronger, I have to use more wax. So this is basically warm and welcoming with cinnamon and spices. So I wish it was stronger for me. It is a top seller. This is another brick that I got in a flash sale, Pumpkin Roll. And I really, really like this scent. It's a really, really nice scent. And I always forget how much I like it. And I, I use the top row. I got to really put a pounding on this because this is probably one of my older bricks. Like I said, I got in a flash sale. I think it came out in 2015, but it still performs like a champ. It's got that yellow cake. It's got pumpkin pie fillings. It's got pecans and spices. Okay, the next one is baked apple pie. This is one that I had never warmed until recently. So I finally warmed baked apple pie, worked on the top row. Uh, this is basically like apple, cinnamon, and pie crust. Now I find I don't get a lot of pie crust, just a small amount. A, a little bit of the apple, like that cooked apple and a cinnamon. Now, it does say it's a strong fragrance. For me, there's like a little broken piece up there. For me, uh, not a super strong fragrance, not as strong as I would have liked, 
I uh, did okay in my entrance, which was an enclosed space, but kind of struggled in my open layout. So for me, that's the kind of scent I'll probably have to put in bedrooms or enclosed spaces. All right, the next one is Salted Caramel Toffee. This was it from the Bricks in 2020, and I have very little left. I think I have like one and a half cubes, so I should be able to polish this off. I usually don't set out to work on this. This is probably used mostly as a mixer, so... This one has salted caramel, toffee, and butterscotch, so fairly strong. I, I like to mix it with Johnny Appleseed. In fact, let's talk about Johnny Appleseed. So here's Johnny Appleseed. This is the packaging that they put out when they first released it, and I picked up two bricks. This is my first brick. I have another brick of this. It is now in the Scentsy Club style packaging, like with the heart. So, and here's my progress. So I think I made a fair amount of progress on this brick and actually I've been working really hard and normally I don't have all these bricks to discuss with you it's just because of the holiday bricks and this is actually the biggest time you should be putting a dent in your bricks because they usually come out in the holiday season and the ones that you can get through Scentsy Club some of them could be holiday related or fall or winter but a lot of them are are all year round scents so yeah this is the time to really work on your bricks and you you pretty much have to set a goal or Make sure you include them in your melting basket or else you'll forget about them. Some people purposely forget about them because <laughs> they like to hoard them. Don't hoard them, melt them. So anyway, yes, Johnny Appleseed. It's really nice mixed with salted caramel toffee. This is a basic Macintosh apple scent. Very nice. This is one of my favorite scents. I love this one and I would love to see it as a voting option in Bring Back My Bar. Cinnamon Chai Latte. And this is the scent out of all my Scentsy scents that I have the most wax of. So, <laughs> cinnamon chai latte. So this is the progress. I think I, I used one, I used this row, which is probably the bulkiest row because these two squares are the biggest in the brick. So these ones I often cut in four pieces and then sometimes these ones in three, these ones in either three or two. These are kind of the smallest one as well as these corners. So this is a really nice scent. It's got cardamom, it's got uh, the steamed milk and cinnamon. It's really nice. All right, uh, from last year's bricks, I have Pretty and Plaid. I wanted to try to put a good dent in this because I only have two Christmas type, Christmas tree type scent bricks. I have this and I have Very Snowy Spruce. And my Very Snowy Spruce is full, so I just don't want to break into that yet. So I'd like to work on this. I, I made quite a bit of progress with using up five cubes. So, so you can look at the picture there. Uh, I put a good dent into it. So this one has, I think it has winter green. It has juniper berries and it has some other things. I can't remember. Cranberry. Put the notes below. This is really strong. It's not my favorite. It's not bad, but it's not my favorite. Some people really dislike it. I can tolerate it okay. It's a little bit soapy. It's like, like an old fashioned bar soap with a tree and some cranberries. So I think I will continue to work on this. I'm gonna put it aside there. All right, let's talk about the bricks from this year. And I did do a brick video. I will link that uh, in the description box and I will put an end card at the end of the video if you wanna watch that. But the first one is uh, Fluffy Fleece. So this has Current, Heliotrope and Cozy Musk. And I used five cubes and then there's a little bit gone out of this one, you just can't tell. And this is, a very perfumey, powdery, somewhat laundry, somewhat old lady, nanny type smell. But uh, my husband has fallen in love with it, so it is a repurchase for us. Pink Point Setia. This is a fruity scent, and I used four, uh, three and a bit. And this one, I don't remember the notes. I think it's like plum and blackberry. But it's, it's like a soft, airy it reminds me of like a a vodka drink like a fruity vodka drink that's what it reminds me of so that would be one that i'm going to melt in my daughter's room when i kind of work on it again this was my favorite brick spiced eggnog and i worked on four cubes i got four cubes done and this has buttered rum it has the eggnog and it has clove and a lot of times people are turned off by the rum but when you warm it it does change it up a little bit Yes, so I always try to warm it. I remember when I warmed it, I walked into the room and I smiled because I, I just, I really like this one. So it's Spiced Eggnog. Sweet Orange Pomander. 
This one I used up three and a bit. This is strong, open concept worthy. It's mostly cinnamon and clove. Red hot cinnamon, aggressive clove. The, the, the bottom of the barrel for what you're gonna pick up is the sweet orange. So sometimes the name might be a little misleading because there's not that much orange. It's hard to find the orange because the other notes are so strong, but it is long lasting and strong. And finally we have vanilla cinnamon maple. I finished four and a bit. So I should say I did kind of give, give some of this away, but I did kind of out quite a bit myself. Yes, this is very, um, it's almost like a, a different version of the salted caramel toffee. You get the butteriness and I don't get a ton of cinnamon with this. So if you're scared of cinnamon, then this one might still work out for you. And the maple is okay for me in this one. So that one I, I liked. Um, but it, it didn't seem to last very long from my memory, or was it not very strong? It was stronger than Pink Poinsettia, but it wasn't a, a boomer by any means. All right, so the next ones are Scentsy Club bricks that I wanted to kind of work on because they weren't even, they were full. So the first one was Coconut Lemongrass. This one, I used the top row, and I must say this performed very well. It's basically coconut and lemongrass. I've only ever worn like older bars, older testers of coconut lemongrass, and this did extremely well. Um, I warmed it in my daughter's room, I warmed it in their bathroom, and I warmed it in the garage, and no, not because I don't like it. I just needed a bright, uh, fresh scent in there, and every time I pulled my car and I was like, oh my gosh. And no, I don't normally melt scents in the garage, but we kind of had, it was kind of smelly in there, so I wanted to make it smell good. So yes, this did very well. I'm very pleased. I'm very pleased that I've come around to this scent. This is one of my favorites, Sunkissed Citrus. I used the top three cubes. So this one here is, let me see if I can remember. It's got oranges, limes, lemon, and grapefruit. To me, it's mostly orange. The other ones are just there along for the ride. So this is a very orange scent. And, and I, maybe that's why they made the packaging and the wax orange. It's, a, it's about a medium plus on strength. Depends on the day and <laughs> where I warm it. The next one is a love of my husband's and a love of Ryan's. It's Blue Grotto. So this one, I worked on the top three cubes. So Ryan begged me, he said, please put this in my room. So I did, it's going there right now. And it's it's got like lush botanicals, tropical notes and sweet citrus. And sweet is the word, it's very sweet. I've said this before, <laughs> this is like the sense a uh, scent that most men seem to like. So if you don't know what to get someone and they're a man, get them something in Blue Grotto and see <laughs> see how they react. I bet you they'll react well. So lastly, before I move on to what I plan to warm is sugar cookie. And sugar cookie is one of my favorites. When I warm this, I think to myself, this is my kind of scent. I love it. Some people complain it's soft. For some reason, certain times I warm it, it just does really well. I don't know, I'm not complaining. Um, I warmed it in my TV room the other day and I, I walked in, I was like, oh my gosh, this is so awesome. So I only used up two cubes. <laughs> this is the type of scent that I would pull out to add to another scent, to soften it, change it up. Or um, sometimes in my room, I would melt it on its own. So I probably won't include it in my upcoming melting basket. Uh, speaking of which, I'm gonna pause the video and I'm gonna grab 12 more bricks plus one and we'll be right back. Okay, so these are the bricks that I'm gonna work on. We're not gonna go over scent descriptions. I'm just gonna show you. If you wanna hear about how these ones did for me, tune in in three months. And one more thing at the end of the video, I will get to that, but I'm gonna work more on pretty and plaid. I wanna see if how much I can get, get done of that. I wanna work on blue Christmas. I never got to this one, but this is one of my favorites, full. The next two are Scents that are returning and bring back my bar, not in brick form, but in bar form. So I have sugar, full bar, or full brick, I should say, and shimmer, full brick. I have candy cane wishes, six cubes from, from a couple of years ago. That was one of my heartbreaks. I had it in my club and I took it out thinking they were gonna bring it back, but no, they didn't. Anyway. I have six cubes or half a brick left of sugar plum berry. Beautiful colors on that one. And I don't know about you guys, but do you like 
the older style with the cursive or do you like the newer style with the block font? Uh, anyway, I have half a brick left of caramel sugar cookie. And showing you this so it's not a big surprise, Crimson Berry Christmas. <laughs> uh, three cubes plus a little bit gone. I don't know if I'm gonna get to this, but I'll, I'll put it in my daughter's room. She likes this type of scent, as do I. Snow Kiss Cranberry. Such a pretty scent. I have nine cubes left. This is a very much Patricia scent because I like mint scents and I like marshmallowy scents and I'm okay with chocolate. Some people aren't, but this is really nice. It's marshmallow mint cocoa. And I have three plus a little bit used up. This one I'm hoping to be able to finish soon. I love this one. This is another Scentsy Heartbreak for me. I never put it in my club, just didn't realize how much I liked it until it was too late. But I have an awesome friend in the wax world and she has helped me out by gifting me a couple bars. So I'm okay to use this last three cubes of Blizzard Berry. And I know my friend Adrian really likes that one too. Now to finish off, we have two more bricks. These are both old. I, I don't know, one of these I got on a trade with someone and I have nine cubes of it left. It's the former scent of Eskimo Kiss, but is now Polar Bear Hug. So I wanna definitely, I wanna try to at least get through this row and this row if I can. And one of my favorite Scentsy scents, probably definitely in my top 10, if not my top five. It's really hard to pick sometimes, but I love this one. Can you tell? <laughs> I only warmed one cube. Sometimes the ones you love the most, you tend to hoard, but I shouldn't. It's Silver Bells, and you can get this in bar form right now. So before we break off, I just wanna ask you guys, I think out of all these bricks, I've only got two chopped. So I might do a chop and chat video. If you would like me to, please let me know. If you have any questions for the chop potential chop and chat video, put them down in below or or put them uh, send me a message on Instagram. So. Thanks for spending the last few minutes with me. I hope you like these type of videos. Please take care and stay safe and I will see you guys in the next one.